Hello, my name is Ron Adelot, head football coach, Riverdale High School uh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm here today to talk to you about implementing uh, option football into, into your everyday wing tee package. Um, again, or to start with, I would like to say the reason that we choose the wing tee, uh, we have several things. First of all, we think the wing tee is a system. It's not just a formation with a set of plays. Uh, it is a four-back offense, and we feel like the whole principle of the wing tee, even from its early inception back in the old days, was whenever the defense did something to stop your offense, there were always reasons, uh, there were always people trying to find ways to upgrade the offense to make it more difficult for the defense to catch up. And hopefully we'll show you some things today that we do that will help your offense. Uh, the offense involves uh, a team concept with four backs. And again, we try to incorporate these beliefs into our offense. We want an inside threat, an off tackle threat, a perimeter threat, a counter, a counter off of each action, and a play action pass off of each, off of each action. I'm going to talk to you today about the option game and the types of options we run. From under center, we run three types of option, and we even run some from the shotgun. Uh, I would like to uh, thank Terry Hemmentoler, who has been with me since uh, 1997, or actually 1998, for helping me to grow as an option coach uh, because that's the direction I wanted to go, and for his valuable information and his hours of endless work and his uh, great quarterback coaching. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the inside veer, the outside veer, and the midline option. Hope you enjoy these and uh, hope these enhance your offense. I'm going to start off by talking about the inside veer in our option package. Uh, the inside veer is kind of where everything uh, begins for us. Uh, we like the inside veer for, for the following reasons and probably some that I may forget, but f the, uh, the primary reasons we like the inside veer, obviously it's a triple threat. We can give the football, quarterback can run the football, we can pitch the football. We, we, we like that. Uh, the triple option is also a, a dual flank play. Uh, we can check it uh, to the preferred technique that we want to run the play. So uh, it's the basis and the beginning of our option game. Uh, so I'm going to cover a little bit about the, about the inside veer. I'm going to go over specifics for each position. I have here drawn a blue formation versus a 40 front defense. These are some looks that we get. Uh, I'll try to go through various looks and uh, so that you have the gist of what goes on. But basically, we rule block everything. So by these rules, we'll start with the play side people. The play side tackles rule is gap, bump, lead, backer. The play side guard is gap on, bump, lead, backer. The center, the center on back, or what we call FOB, which to a lot of you would be scoop. Uh, that's fire on backer to us. What we will initially do we will locate the inside veer game begins reading the first defender past the B gap. The guard tackle gap being the B gap, the first defender outside of that 